Marhaba ya jama. Right now I want to talk about the letter Hamza, which a linguist might call a glottal stop. And if you don't have a background in phonology, that might not mean much to you, or it might sound intimidatingly technical, but the fact is that you already know how to pronounce a Hamza, how to pronounce a glottal stop. It is the little pop of air that originates in our throats at the beginning of a word like eat or apple, or in the middle of a phrase like uh-oh. And personally, I really like that last example because in English, we don't often have glottal stops in the middle of words, and it can feel challenging perhaps to practice when we're also dealing with the task of reading Arabic aloud or speaking Arabic aloud. But a glottal stop in the middle of a word is a pretty common phenomenon in Arabic. So I think uh-oh, where we stop and make that sound in the middle of the utterance is a really useful practice word. Uh, there's also a phenomenon that happens in some American Englishes where we turn T sounds into a glottal stop in speech. Uh, I have friends from New York City who would pronounce the name of their borough Manhattan and would find it a bit unusual or goofy if someone said Manhattan with a, an actual frontal T sound, right? That would indicate that somebody is maybe from not in town. Uh, we also hear it in really common spoken words in gerunds like sitting or eating. If I were delivering a formal speech, perhaps I would say sitting or eating with the T voiced uh, or pronounced rather. But if I were having an informal conversation with someone, I would probably turn that T sound into a glottal stop, sitting. Um, as learners, we should be really focused on making the sound of a Hamza pop in an Arabic word. If we're feeling tired or relaxed, we might be tempted to make that pop a bit lazier, right? And uh, just have it kind of resolve into a vowel and hope that everything's okay. But for now, as we're practicing, especially at the beginning of your career as a pronouncer of Hamzas, focusing on making it very snappy and clear will pay dividends in the long run, right? It should be very percussive. Ah, ooh, ee, oops, uh-oh. That's the sound we're going for.